It's 17, it's 17.33, um, it's Sunday evening, and this is for the interest of any authorities with daughters that prioritise their girls, little girls' safety above any malicious, maligned, or um, just as bo conduct is what it's really considered. Um, I'm here since 2019. It's usually considered a short-term, 15 months period of a short-term accommodation for emergency circumstances where there's crime in a situation as there has been on my farmland in Ardfort and Kilflin. Um, it's 2023. There are some people that are really being cheeky and impetuous thinking that they're going to misrepresent themselves. They're after buying themselves some time to put together a, a false report, um, an inauthentic report, and uh, they don't even even, they have no remit. Um, I live on my own. Um, I'm Royal Protocol and um, what criminal offence is happening at the moment um, is exacerbatory. So um, the individuals that are in and around my proximity exacerbating their uh, defamation of my good name and uh, causing a, a nonsense obstruction since uh, 2006 um, are still recovering from the damages they caused themselves in their crimes against my good name. And now they're still causing ASBO conduct. So unfortunately, anyone of a mental health profession that's trying to usurp from my credentials as a mental health practitioner and educator, um, you might be careful about uh, the hierarchy and the academic fraud that is also a criminal offence against my good name. Uh, anyone frauding any academic records uh, regarding my research um, or forgery there around the um, just intellectual property is all an issue as well. So there's an ongoing uh, crime I'm experiencing, not just since I gave birth, this community has been of hate crime since 2006. And... Um, there has been repercussions to their actions and their offences. So um, as I've notified the Vatican as well, um, I have um, done extensive um, treatment of practices that were considered harmful to people's well-being and that were also blasphemous. So it's, it's a really rude, disgraceful situation that there are people that are just not honouring um, their obligations to our blood, our French blood. They're disrespecting a very, very old uh, tradition and um, heritage. And that's unfortunate that people would disrespect such um, fabulous uh, bloodlines. Um, it, it's disgraceful, really. But um, those that are choosing to use the words treason, unfortunately, are appropriating that language incorrectly and inaccurately. And there have already, unfortunately, been repercussions to people attempting treason against my good name, character and reputation. So I'm being, I'm being very tolerant, I'm being very patient. Um, I'm not excusing people of criminality under no circumstance am I excuse anyone uh, being illegally in my proximity. I do not excuse uh, people uh, <laughs> being uh, disorderly or disrespectful in society. So this is what the caliber of people are of in this situation. They have disrespected people's names, they have disrespected people's privacy, they've disrespected protocol, and they're all very dangerous uh, objectives and factors to daily living in civil society that people require the respect of. So this issue is ongoing, um, it, it's unacceptable, it's inexcusable. So I'm surprised that there would be any humanitarians that would consider it sensible, safe or wise that uh, the conditions that I'm tolerating um, be supported. It's not good enough with the extensive land that I own and the royal uh, heritage that I hold. So those of a mental health practice that are illegally in my proximity are putting children's lives at risk and they have no lawful remit with me. Um, the short-term accommodation is due to farm crime. So those committing crime on people's farms are putting their track records and integrity at risk. So those people that have insulted their own families and that have insulted my families, um, there's going to be another matter there as well. So anyway, um, this is an issue for either the United Kingdom 
or um, Dublin, but definitely Brussels. Um, people don't get to fraud their way into people's lives and assume to have a position of authority with some dodgy paper, especially if they can't even acknowledge the, the, the hierarchy. Um, so those people that aren't qualified, that have a criminal track record and that are repeat offences of slander and defamation and that are passing my door without paying their debts, um, I, I, hate to, I hate to think of what you're putting on your children's heads. So would you ever uh, please uh, send out a uh, mental health warning for the mental health frauds that are meeting in Dublin Joint Committees and Justice and whatnot to assist in any more further wrongdoings against um, the legislation that originated from this uh, person. Um, it's called COVID-19 uh, and it's from the experience of strengths and hopes and research and recovery of 25 years, 20 years. So be careful everybody about assisting anyone that's suffering from identity issues. Uh, it could disturb the children uh, and that's not going to be accepted either. These people that have a superiority complex or a superiority issue, uh, misunderstanding their position in the hierarchy in the greater scheme of things might get burnt. They could hurt themselves and uh, they, they, could, they could get disorientated and uh, yeah, they just have no concept then of reality and they have been already of a bad track record with other people's money. So um, this is for the interest as well of the IMF and the ECB. Obstruction is not sensible. Uh, violations are very expensive to innocent life. People don't like being compromised. People don't like their families being compromised in dirty conduct of fraud and corruption. Uh, people of mental health uh, that think they're in a position to talk about people's private lives or any persons uh, that think they're of authoritarian position above right protocol uh, that are assisting frauds. That's all very dangerous to be supporting. So the IMF and the ECB, I would hope that you are aware, you probably are of all the um, Developments since uh, my initiatives commenced in 2017 and uh, reaped rewards uh, for people. But unfortunately, we still have thieves, common petty thieves in our uh, local community here in Chile that don't pay their debts and don't meet their bills. So it's a sad sign of the times, but the sun is glorious and shining, thank goodness. Uh, but... Um, those that have regard for their little girls' futures. Uh, I hope they're on the right side of the law, as I always say. Uh, this is particularly for those that are assisting criminals of financial theft and fraud from my good name, character and reputation. And uh, trespass, as I always mention, is a punishable offence. So I hope everyone's be really sensible. <laughs>